An analyst at the national level is tasked to prepare mission support tilesets using the data from NGA's topographic data store. The data is available via an API that implements OGC API standards and draft specifications. It is powered by LD Proxy, developed by Interactive Instruments. All information is available in the popular JSON format that will be used by software tools. The APIs also support HTML so that the offerings of the API can be explored in any web browser. The analyst is using this to assess the available data for missions in the region of Dara, Syria. This is the so-called landing page of the API for a topographic data store dataset with Dara data. The landing page provides information about the spatial coverage of the data, as well as links to all resources in the API. This includes information for developers, like the detailed documentation of the API. But most importantly, there are links to the feature data, the feature data organized in vector tiles, and to styles to render the data. Our analyst wants to ensure that the published tile sets are fit for purpose, so he has a closer look at the available vector tiles. Tiles are available as multi-layer tiles with one layer per data theme and as single layer tiles with a single data theme. Here we see the multi-layer tiles in an interactive map. By hovering over the features, the attributes are shown and the analyst can inspect the contents that the users would see. The data is available as three tilesets using different cornered reference systems. It is available in the popular Web Mercator Quad tiling scheme, but also in tiling schemes based on WGS84 or the Mercator projection, which are more suitable for the missions. For each tileset, the widely supported TileJSON metadata document is provided. As a result, the tilesets can typically be used without any configuration by the user. Here we paste the TileJSON URL into the visual style editing tool Fresco developed by TerraNodo. The features in the tiles are displayed with an auto-generated style. The analyst can edit the style, save it and publish it in the national API so that it is available for missions. The available styles can be assessed in the browser too. Here we can see the topographic style with the DARA data. The feature content of the dataset can best be assessed looking directly at the source feature data. The analyst is in particular interested in information about roads and railways, so he navigates to the features of that data theme. He can browse through the features, which are available in pages. He can also use filtering to select features in a certain time period, area, or based on attributes. Here, he is selecting all railways. or all motorways close to the center of DARA. The knowledge about the available data is then used by the analyst to optimize the published styles and tilesets by optimizing which data is shown at each zoom level. 